Okay, so you start naked on the beach with rock and torch in hand. You trek the island going to different monuments, scrap and scrap, components and resources. Finally, you build this beautiful little two by one workbench and an airlock and think, what's next? Maybe it's time to get a better loop. Maybe it's time to go big or go back to the beach. <laughs> hey, Gord here. I believe I've found a method for you to take small oil rig with just primitive gear. That means we'll be only using bows for this monument. Let's get to the basics. Now, what do you need? You need bows. Duh. Come on. Crossbow, compound, hunting bow is all we'll be using for this run, as well as tier 1 meds, armor, and ammo, making sure that we have all the cards. Pumpkins, cloth, arrows, low grade fuel, and determination power to make it through this mighty adventure! First, we need a remote, which can be either found at the beaches or by purchasing from Fishing Village. However, I play on a PvE server, and I can get a responsible boat. And you may be wondering, why am I on a PvE server? <laughs> I'm a coward. Anyways, so now that you have your rowboat, heading to oil, and just stop a short distance from the starting platform. There you'll find a lone scientist that you need to snipe on your way out. Once he is taken care of, begins the ride up to your destination at the dock. Going up to level 2, I find it easy here to wait almost to the top of the stairs and do peak shots with your bow. Compound is especially powerful as you can crouch with a fully charged shot and stand and peek with a green headshot on one of the members of the Blue Man Group. If you feel overwhelmed by the tall smurfs holding machine guns and firing upon you with 30 health and by bleeding, then the best thing to do is retreat to the boxes at the lower part of the deck and use them to cover. If positioned correctly, they will not be able to hit you as you munch on about, let's say, 20 pounds of pumpkins. Repeating this pattern can be extremely helpful until the scientists stop attacking you on waves. At this point, continue up each level and do careful corner peaks to avoid massive damage. Using a mixture of the hunting bow and crossbow works exceptionally well on the fire rate and the damage. Finally, we hit the top level where the lock crate awaits us. However, remember that this crate is only part of the treasure of the whole monument, with crates, barrels, blueberry bodies that you've just decapitated and murdered. Holding up much better medical supplies, scrap, kits, ammo, armor, weapons that can help you out. And don't forget that this is just a part of the adventure. Now open up the blue key card room and pull back rather quickly. There is a scientist that has the chance to rubber band and slap you right where you least expect it. Hooray! All the wannabe cookie monsters are dead. Now it's time to face the chonky boys. Heavy scientists are basically bears with guns. Get too close and you are a goner. However, get far enough away and in a cheeky location and they'll go from bears to goldfish bumbling around. Get ready, start the crate, head to the crane, and wait with your bows at hand. If you can, snipe the first couple with a compound bow as they leave the helicopter. With the spatial awareness of a pug, it may take them a little while to notice you. Once they have noticed, it is best to get to the lower sections and take headshots when then they get close. See, they have a weird tendency to group up and pretend to be aim lab targets. So if you are placed in the correct position, you may be able to headshot them perfectly. Now for all you loot goblins out there, here is where we have the best loot. 
from the monument that can be found. Heavies! The heavies drop fantastic loot from meds, ammo, weapons, explosives! With the crate unlocked, with the corpses of your foes scavenged bone and teeth, you are now ready to return back to the island and put those weapons to good use against any threat that stands in front of your way. Until you get shot down in cold blood by a naked with a DB in a bush. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Please feel free to leave a comment of anything you want to see next. My name's Gord. I'm here for any weird-ass tutorials you need again. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.